Hi everyone, today we are going to learn how to integrate cosine 4 of x dx. Since cosine has even power, we are going to use half angle identity. Let's begin. As our first step, we are going to break cosine into square form. Cosine squared of x parenthesis squared dx. So cosine squared of x squared equals the cosine fourth of x. At this point, we're going to use our identity. What is cosine squared of x? So we're going to use half angle identity. Let's substitute that. So it is one half times one plus cosine of two x. And we have square here, dx. What is our next step? Our next step is to square the terms in the parentheses. What is one half squared? One half squared is one fourth. We can pull that to the front. And we have to square this. So if you FOIL that, you're going to get 1 plus 2 times cosine of 2x plus cosine squared of 2x and dx. Our next step is to apply the half angle identity again. We're going to apply half angle identity here again. So what is cosine squared of 2x if we apply the half angle identity? It's going to be 1 half times 1 plus cosine of 4x. Why? Because we are doubling this angle in the half angle identity. Okay, let's rewrite it. So 1 fourth is here. 1 plus... 2 cosine of 2x plus we can write it like or we can directly distribute this 1 half 1 half times 1 is 1 half plus 1 half times cosine of 4x is cosine of 4x over 2 and dx okay at this point we're going to combine the numbers, fractions. We're going to combine this two. Let's do that. One fourth is already here. One plus one half is three over two, plus two cosine of two x, plus let's use one half times cosine of four x dx. Now we're going to do our integration because we know the antiderivative of each term one by one. We have, we don't need integral signs anymore. So one fourth, what is the antiderivative of three over two? Three over two x plus, what is the antiderivative of cosine of two x? So you can use this formula to be able to find cosine, integration of cosine. So cosine of a of x dx equals the 1 over a times sine a of x plus c. So here our a is 2. So it's going to be 2 is already here. 1 half sine of 2x. Plus we have 1 half here already. What is the antiderivative of cosine of 4x? We can apply this formula again. So it is 1 fourth times sine of 4x and plus c. Okay, now we have to clean up. Okay, 1 fourth here, 3 over 2x plus 2's cancel out. 
sine of 2x plus 1 half times 1 fourth is 1 eighth sine of 4x plus c. Okay, now we are going to distribute. We are going to distribute 1 fourth to each term one by one. Okay, 1 fourth times 3 over 2 is 3 over 8x plus 1 fourth sine of 2x plus 1 fourth times 1 eighth is 1 over 32 sine of 4x plus c. Okay, this is the final answer. You can box it. This is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like on the way out or su subscribe. Thank you very much.